Well, here I am. <laughs> I know, I've been MIA. I will tell you that vertigo has been kicking my butt. Don't let anybody tell you that vertigo is not part of menopause. If all of a sudden you are starting to experience vertigo, it can even start in perimenopause, I think. Uh, because now that I think back, I was having a lot more vertigo attacks when I was going through perimenopause, and now that I'm in menopause, they're not as often, but they are so much stronger. And I have suffered my whole life with vertigo, but it is all of a sudden very different, and it comes on like this. So uh, I am feeling much better today. I have, uh, I'm existing on practically no sleep today. So I thought I need a little TLC. And this is something I'm going to do today is something that I have been focusing on every day with the exception of the micro needling, which I do at probably every third day. And I do have videos on micro needling and it's not for everyone, but it is for me. And I'm experimenting because I have a YouTube channel that focuses on beauty and aging. So uh, I'm going to actually just carry on with what I would do if I were not on camera. And I know it's going to seem like a lot of time is put into this, but when I'm not on camera, uh, the tools that I'm using take a matter of four minutes each. So that's eight minutes. And then the micro needling takes only a few moments and uh, a couple of other things that I do. I'm not I, one that is interested in putting fillers in my face. That is a route you can go and it's perfectly fine if that's what you choose. Uh, and uh, I have tried Botox in certain areas which I have just despised. So uh, I am really focusing on the lower half of my face right here because that's where I'm showing most of my age. All right, so uh, that's what you will see me doing today, okay? And do you see my little picture there? That's my bindi. And right above it is my doodles. But uh, my niece gave me this and it is such a beautiful picture of my bindi girl. Those of you who have been with me for a long time, you knew right away that that was my bindi girl beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bully breed. All right, uh, so let me go ahead and put my um, conducting gel on and I will be right back. With okay, you. conducting gel is on. So now I'm just going to go in with my cup and I'm gonna work my neck. Uh, you can follow along at home, just save the video and follow along because like I said, I'm not gonna really be talking about it. Uh, I'm just going to be doing it and going along. So uh, I do start, and the way you use them is you just squeeze them, put them on, and kind of move downwards. You can just grab on and keep moving down towards the heart. And I really like to start at the neck because it just helps start the draining process. So let me tell you what happened to Lula and myself when we were walking the other day. Uh, this was really frightening for me. Uh, we were walking and sometimes I get lost in my thoughts and Lula is such a good walker that she really um, just follows along with me and um, so we're walking along and I hear this splat and I'm like what was that and I look to the right of me and there's a dog laying in the street and there's a black Escalade driving by it and I looked and I thought did that person just hit that dog and they just kept going? So I happened to look down and I screamed. I was like, hey, as loud as I could. And when I did it, I noticed that the back window was open on the truck. So finally the truck stops and I yelled, is this your dog? Now I, the dog was laying in the road and then he started to limp over to Lula and myself. And I was so proud of Lula because she must have sensed that that was, something was wrong because she was so sweet. And usually Lula, she barks her head off. But um, anyway, so here I am, I'm, you know, screaming. And then I went and I got the dog right away. And I was very careful because I didn't know if he had broke something. I didn't know if he was bleeding or if he was going to, if he was injured. So I uh, yelled, is this your dog? And she looks and she goes, yes. Now, I don't know, to me, I just think if I 
if my dog had jumped out of the car and I had just realized it, oh my God, I would be a basket case. I would have jumped out of my vehicle and I would have been screaming, oh my God, oh my God, my baby, my baby. And I would have run to her. Well, she backed her vehicle up and she opened the door and got out and she goes, oh, he's never done that before. And her window was rolled all the way down. Now, I don't know about other dog owners, but I do have uh, two uh, connectors in my vehicle that when Harley and Lula are in my vehicle, they are strapped in. And I just think it's safe because another thing, if you get hit by someone else, they don't go flying. So anyway, she comes over and she says, oh, he's never done that before. And she proceeds to try to pull him, to put him back in the vehicle. And I said, well, let's check him. He could be hurt. And so I looked him over and I said, okay, he's okay. And he tried to jump into the driver's seat door and she yanked him out and I said, ma'am, he's scared. And I picked him up and I put him in her seat, the driver's seat, and there was an elderly woman in the vehicle and she was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. She was all upset over it, which rightfully so. And the woman said, I just can't believe he did that. She had no collar on him. She had a little blue jacket on him. He was a black lab, so when he flew out of the car, he jumped out of the window because he saw Lula and myself. So when he saw us, he jumped out and she didn't even pay any attention until I screamed. And I keep thinking to myself, oh my goodness, if I was not there, this dog would be laying in the road or wandering around, possibly get hit by someone who's driving way too fast in the neighborhood. So after she finally took off, I was so upset. I just started to cry because I just, it was very upsetting to me. Anyway, I guess the reason why I'm sharing this, if you have a dog and you allow your dog to hang out the window, then don't let the window be all the way down and make sure you have a harness or something that attaches your dog so that he can only get his paws up. He can't get his body out in any way, shape or form. I just was, I was so upset by this. And I really, I think I was upset by her cavalier attitude. I'm sure she loves her dog. I'm sure she was embarrassed, uh, but oh my goodness. Please, 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 if you let your dogs hang out the windows, make sure that you have them secured in because they will jump. I mean, this dog saw, Har saw Lula and jumped out the window. And luckily he was not hurt. I don't think he was because I did check him over. There's no blood. He didn't seem to be limping. He struggled to get up just slightly, but I think he was more stunned than anything. And it was only by the grace of God that another vehicle wasn't coming and hit him. I mean, just really, and I say him because he had a blue coat on, um, but no collar. That's another thing. If he had fallen out of the car and she hadn't realized it and just kept going, he would have been wandering around without a collar on, anything to say, you know, call my parents. Uh, Harley and Lula have our phone numbers on them, everything. So please be careful if you do drive around with your dogs and they love to hang their heads out the window. Uh, I mean, I know Harley loves to do it. We don't let her do it often, but she does love to do it. But I only crack the window so she can stick her head out, not her whole body, because Harley, if she saw some rodent, a bunny, a bird, she would probably try to jump out. So be very, 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 very careful. So then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off because I have to change the conducting gel to something else. So I will be right back. I think you can already see just by doing that little bit of microcurrent and uh, the nano current, it really does add a nice glow to your face. And I only used it on the lower half. I do the lower half every single day and I do my whole face probably every other day, which takes a little bit more time, 10 minutes max. But the lower face is two minutes on each side. Of course, when I'm not 
talking, I'm paying more attention, and I really focus on what I'm doing. But all you really do is focus on lifting up, and I like to hold right in here just to give it an extra little boost, and I'm always working on these lines because this is genetics. My mother's face hung down like this. My grandmother's hung down like this. My sisters all hang down. My brothers all hang down. So I'm constantly trying to lift. Okay, so, so I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna go in with my Nua and I'm going to turn it on and I put some conducting gel on it. And this one here, what it does is it heats up and it just helps to build collagen. And I work this again, I do this every day in this area. And the smaller the circle, the warmer it gets. And a lot of people worry about this type of treatment because they say it, it melts the fat of the face. I've been using this for probably six, seven years. I don't feel that the at-home device gets hot enough to melt any fat, but um, I feel good doing it. I enjoy this and um, I do think that there is something to it. So I do like this. So anyway, I thought I would go ahead and answer. And again, this is just, uh, it signals you when to turn off. It'll turn green when it's really heated. And I just focus on this area. Now I will go right over my lips with this one because I'm really trying to build collagen in the lips. I'm trying to look the best I can at my age. I'm not trying to look 21, 31 or 41 not even 51. I am trying to look the best and feel the best I can at 64 years old. That's all we can do at this point because no matter what we do, something on our body will always tell our true age. Every single time, it'll be the boobs or it'll be the hands, the neck, whatever. Something is going to share with the world how old you are. All right, so uh, I did a weightlifting video or um, my exercise video, and it was just an assortment of different exercises that I do. It was not my actual workout. I do work one muscle group a, uh, a day. So I may work my biceps and triceps together because I take two days off of the gym. I work my shoulders, which are my shoulders and my delts uh, one day out of the week. I work my back and I also work my legs. Now with the rotation uh, in the week, uh, I may start the week out with my caps. Um, well, I call them my caps, <laughs> but my delts. I may start the week and that's how I will finish the week because it just happens to be the rotation. So uh, I am always changing the body part I do. Now, if you don't have the time to go to a gym every single day because of your work schedule or whatever, um, Work it out so you're doing a couple of body parts a day uh, on the days you go. You can do full body compound uh, exercises or you can work your bi, tries and back and then, you know, your legs and chest or whatever. However works for you, that's what you do. And um, I had a couple of questions off of that video, so I thought I would just go ahead and address them. So, um, this journey for me, in case you're all wondering, was not about being thin. It was about getting back to where I was and to see if it was possible for a menopausal woman, a postmenopausal woman, to really change her body composition. After researching, I thought I'm going to give this everything I have. So I did lose uh, 39 pounds and I was, I'm very happy with that. And I'm also building muscles. The reason I did it is because uh, I have osteoporosis of the spine and weight bearing exercises are uh, good for the bones. So for me, this was about my health. And it should be that for all of us. It should not just be for vanity's sake. Uh, you know, that is the bonus that you can just open up your closet and put anything on and feel good. But when you get to be a certain age, your health is all that matters, my friends. Your health, our health should be the only thing that matters to us throughout our journey in life. It really should be. So right. how often uh, do we work out? I just explained that we work out five days a week. Uh, and with the weightlifting, I also walk my dogs daily, which is about 30 minutes. It's not a fast walk. It's just a matter of getting in my 10,000 steps, which are very important to me. 
when I first started out on my journey, I was uh, walking every single day for an hour. And I think I felt that I needed that to jumpstart everything but it got me into a habit. It helps to form healthy habits to force yourself to do something every day, even if you're not that fond of it. Uh, I love walking and I now absolutely love lifting weights. I love it. So in the video, uh, I shared how many pounds I was using and how many reps I do. When I started out, I was not using the pounds I am using now. Uh, some of your muscle groups will be stronger than others, uh, so your weights may be a little different. The important thing is, is that you challenge the muscle. So if three pounds, you are just whipping it out without any thought, you can, you're having a conversation with someone else, that is not challenging yourself or the muscle. You need to really challenge that muscle, which means when you're lifting weights, it'll start out quicker, but as you're getting towards the last rep, it's very hard for you to lift it and keep proper form. That is challenging the muscle. So if you have been lifting three pounds for a year, you need to bump it up to five, and you may even surprise yourself and may be able to do eight. Uh, the way I heard it, and this really made sense to me when I heard someone on Instagram who is a uh, personal trainer, and there are some good ones and some bad ones, so you don't always follow what they say as the gospel. You make sure that they know what they're talking about, because some of them do not. They pretend to, but they really don't. Uh, and anyone can be a personal trainer because you can do it online. I know this because my sister owned a gym, and some of the personal trainers just took the test online. They do have to pass it, but some people are really good at memorizing things. So always, always feel comfortable uh, with where you're getting your information from. And uh, so for me, I heard it explained, and they call it progressive overload. It's explained that if you can whip out 10 reps with no problem, that weight is too light for you. So you need to increase that weight. So if you're doing eight pounds, and you're whipping out 10 with no problem, you need to go to 12 pounds. And if you can only do six reps, that's what you do. So for instance, I am for my delts, my shoulder presses, I have been at 20 pounds for, oh, probably six weeks. And a couple of weeks ago, I thought I'm gonna try to lift 25 pounds. I could only barely lift one. I was proud of myself and I thought that's where it starts. 25 pounds, I did one rep. I was so happy and excited. I am now doing six reps with 25 pounds for a set. And then I'll just drop down to 20 because I don't want to hurt myself and I don't want to drop a weight on myself or anything like that. And I have nothing to prove to anyone in the gym. The only person I have anything to prove to is myself. I am, I'm in a contest with myself. I just want to be the strongest I can be. That is what it's all about. I may not have the biggest muscles, I may not be lifting the heaviest weight, but it's working for me. So that is how you determine what weight you should be at. So if you're at three, try five. If you're at five, try eight. Now your tricep muscle may not be able to handle a heavier load. It may need to stay at five, but you will build up. And then one day say, I'm gonna to try to do eight. I'm gonna lift the eight pounds. And if you can only do two reps with that eight, that's two reps. Just drop down to five and complete your sets. That's how I did it. And let me tell you, you will get stronger, my friends. You truly will get stronger. Uh, I'm next gonna move on to microneedling. My microneedle has been sitting in uh, alcohol. I have two different types. I have the roller and I also have this type here, which I, I will also sterilize in the alcohol. I do this before and after. Uh, this one here actually is 1.5 and this is practically nothing. 
So I have been working on my eyebrows, uh, really trying to get the brow to grow back in. And I've also been working on the lip lines with this. So, and then I just go over lightly with this one uh, in this area. I don't necessarily use this one along here. I just use it along the lip line and my brows. So and I have nothing on my brows or my face now, it is clean. So uh, the next thing is, where did you learn everything? I researched, my friends. I went online and I just researched everything. I would put in delts, how to build your delts. And then I would put in over 60 or menopausal woman. <laughs> Unfortunately, I sneeze when I do this. <laughs> Um, I would put in, and this is just a light tapping motion, not a heavy tapping motion. Again, this is a one and a half, so it's a deeper needle. And I just go back and forth, no dragging. And that is it. I don't spend a whole lot of time. I am doing a little bit on this dark spot here. And then I just go right over to the next eye and I'm going to sneeze on this as well. And so I um, just researched muscle groups and I tried everything. And then I, at some point I would put in, you know, how do I do this if I have, uh, you know, this ailment like tendonitis. And I, I also learned a lot from my physical therapist when I was going in for treatment for my tendonitis. A physical therapist is highly trained. And really, if you have access to one, that is who you want to ask about things because they really, really do know what they're talking about. And uh, I learned a lot from them. So uh, that's where I learned. I just really, I just searched the internet. I searched Instagram. I just found people who appealed to me. And uh, then I made sure I would watch a few of their videos to see if they knew what they were talking about. And uh, for the most part, they did. So I really learned on my own, my friends. I did. Uh, and that's all I do for the stamp. Okay, because the stamp is a little, um, it's a little, it's not as comfortable as the roller to me. Now the roller has hardly, uh, it's very, I think it's a 0.25, so you're not really doing much. And all I do is I go over the brow and I go over just like this. It's a very light pressure. And then I will go up and down and then a little on the diagonal and then the same thing down. And I just do the same thing on the other eye. Again, it's a very light pressure. And this is just to make sure I'm getting the whole area. And then I go up and down and I'll go diagonal. And this is just to make sure that you're getting every single area. All right, and it says, do you use a personal trainer? No, I used a personal trainer once and I won't use one again. And again, this, you have to find someone you work well with. And I just got a really bad taste in my mouth and it's not fair to other personal trainers, but I have done so much research on my own. I don't really feel I need it. Here's a little funny story. One morning in our gym, the guy who runs our gym, he's a personal trainer. He has a background in, uh, I can't remember what his background is, but he knows more than uh, a personal trainer. And um, he came up to me one day and he said, uh, what is your background? And I said, what do you mean? He goes like, are you, do you have like physical therapy training? What is your background? Because you really know a lot. I said, my background is Instagram. <laughs> I said, I just watch Instagram. He goes, well, you do things I have never seen people do. So uh, if you really research and get serious about it, you don't need anybody else. Okay, and that is pretty much all I do, just my mouth and my brows. I don't really do too much more, and then I will uh, sanitize both of those before I put those away. Uh, okay, so now, this is very important. When you are doing any type of micro needling, 
uh, you have to be careful about the treatments you put on afterwards. You want to make sure that they're very, um, like I wouldn't even hesitate to put anything from Neogenesis on my skin right now because it's just a nice clean line or Epicutus. Um, or even I probably would go ahead and put um, Isden on my skin, but I would not uh, put a lot of highly fragranced products on my skin. But I have been using this, and this is something new to uh, Freeze Co Beauty. This is interesting. This this company actually contacted me a long time ago, and I, I refused. And now I wish I would have paid a little bit more attention to them. So I've been using this over, it is recommended to be used after in-office treatments. And uh, so is the uh, sunscreen I'm going to share with you. But I've been using this. Now, this is interesting. It is a growth factor, and it's called Pensage Intensive Serum 40, and it's from Biopel. And it comes with vials like this. Now, I have used three, and I use one. And uh, this is to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, restore skin texture and luminosity, reduce negative side effects after procedures. So it, it can be used after procedures. And uh, you're supposed to see visible results within the 24 hour period. So all you do is you squeeze this. this. There's some serum in there. You squeeze it to break the glass and then you will push it up. And there's like, it's almost like a tampon, my friends. You push it up and there is a little pad there now saturated with all the serum. So it is really fresh. So I'm just going to go ahead and dab it everywhere that I just did my micro treatment. And it doesn't burn. And I have really been liking the results of it. So what I do is I focus on the area that I did and I went right over my lips. And I'll give it another squeeze just to get the serum. And you can just rub this way or you can tap like I was doing. It doesn't really matter. Everywhere that I did, the micro needling. I'm going to make sure that I really saturate. Then I'm going to squeeze it again and I'm just going to go along my face to get it all out and I squeeze as I'm going so I have it all over. I really am liking this. Other line starts with an E and I have the night cream and I just purchased uh, some Symbiotica vitamins from Freeze Co Beauty because I'm transitioning over to the liquid form because I like the liposome, liposomal, uh, the blood barrier uh, brain, blood, ba blood brain barrier. I like uh, supplements like that. So you see, I've really saturated the whole face with this. I just and make sure that it all is out and that vial is done. And then I just take it and I tap all over. And then I just allow it to absorb. There's no burning sensation, nothing. And it really soaks in nicely. And I've really been enjoying that. Uh, I will tell you that before I started anything, I did use the Neogenesis. This is the Volcanic Ash Mask. This is to help purify and polish the skin because I want to make sure that I get all the dead skin cells off. And when I made my purchase of the Symbiotica vitamins, she did send me, this is from Biopel also, and this is their eye cream. So it's a very generous sample. So I'm going to try that. You know, I absolutely love the Isden eye cream and I also love their night cream, but I'm always up to try something else. And this, um, there are a couple other things that I do like to do. I will take my, this is a little vibrating tool and I want to really get this drainage going. You see where I'm a little puffy? So I'm just going to take this along and I just run it slowly across and all the way down. You want to always move the drainage down and out towards the heart. And again, I've been using this for years, four years. So let's get back. I want to answer a couple more questions. Uh, so no, I don't use a personal trainer. And it says, what are those things on your elbow that you work out with? I have severe tendonitis. I've had it for years. I've been to physical therapists, doctors, head shots, did everything, everything. Nothing, nothing works at all for my tendonitis outside of rest. And that's just not possible. 
um, for me. Uh, walking the dogs will pull my tendons out. Uh, wiping the counter will pull my tendons out. I just have really bad tendons. My youngest brother also does. He's had a couple of different surgeries because his just snapped. But I'm not a, a candidate for any kind of surgery. And I don't think I would because I'm not sure that, you know, it's a guarantee that any of that would work. So in order for me to work out, the uh, compression bands from Doc Miller, I get them on Amazon. I will link them below for you. Uh, they are a lifesaver for me. Now, I, you do have to measure your arm to make sure you're getting the right size. When, before I lost my weight, I was wearing the mediums and now I wear the smalls. But here is a trick for me. My tendons are so bad that I need to wear two on each arm. And that's what I do. And there is a way that I put them on because I really want to secure the tendons. I know I sound like a crazy person, but I'm not. Um, I have found the ways that work for me that allow me to work out as if I have a normal young body. <laughs> so those are my Doc Millers that I could not live without. They also make them for legs. If you have a knee problem, they make them for knees. Uh, I say, instead of not doing anything for your body, try compression bands, try anything you can uh, that will allow you to work out because it's really beneficial. I believe that muscle is longevity, my friends, and it helps with bone density. Uh, you don't want to lose your muscle as you age and we do lose it. You don't do not want to lose it. It's very hard to regain. I have a certain area of my left knee. My left knee looks almost deformed because I have lost some muscle mass right in the, you know, top part of my knee. And I thought there was something wrong. I thought, you know, my bone is deformed. And when I went to the rheumatologist and they did the x-ray and they said, no, you've just lost muscle mass there. And I have been working out for seriously with weights for over a year now. Uh, that was another question that was asked is how long have you been working out? I started working out when I was 18 years old, but I did all cardio. I did nothing with weights. I did all cardio. I did classes, uh, step classes, and I would do the treadmill and very little with weights. Very, and if I did, I did three pound weights and, you know, really thought I was doing something for myself. And I really wish, so if you're younger watching me out there, start now. Start because it really is beneficial to aging, my friends. It truly is. I've been working out with weights for probably about four years now where I upped my weights to maybe five or eight pounds. And that's where I stayed. I never progressed. I just stayed there and said, why am I not losing weight? I also ate no protein. I was a carb girl, vegetarian. I really do not like animal protein. My body doesn't like it. It really, sometimes it kicks back on me and it says, uh-uh, because -uh, I have IBS in the form of constipation. But on this journey, I have focused on my, well, when I was losing weight, I focused on the calorie deficit, getting adequate protein, and I was eating protein for my goal weight and also fiber. That is all. I didn't worry about the carbs and I didn't worry about the fats because if you're eating the right foods, if you're eating enough protein, it usually keeps you nice and full. The fiber is very important to keep things moving. Do not yeah. want to get stagnant, especially as we age. I just saw something how uh, as we age, uh, a lot of elderly people will have problems going to the bathroom. And because when they start to push, 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 they they somehow change their blood pressure and they pass out on the toilet and they fall. And a lot of people hurt themselves that way. So you know, we want to make sure that we have that fiber. Fiber is important. Now, I can't eat a lot of vegetables at all because they really, really bother my stomach. And I've also become lactose intolerant. That's something else that happens to women after menopause. You can become lactose intolerant when you never were in the past. So never rule those things out. And I didn't know that. Gynecologists explained that to me. So, um, you know, your diet is really important and fiber is huge. So anyway, I just want to finish up. I am going to head out and run some errands. So I wanted to talk to you and share with you 
um, the new sunscreen I've been using. And you all know, if you have been watching me for a long time, I'm extremely sensitive to sunscreens. And I always laugh when people say, you must reapply this every two to three hours. Well, if you wear makeup, how are you doing that outside of a powder form? And then as you're aging, we have all these wrinkles and we're putting all this powder sunscreen on our face. It's only accentuating our age. So, uh, and mineral sunscreens, they sometimes leave a white cast. Well, not anymore, my friends. We have, and I saved the box because they're beautiful and the packaging is beautiful, but this is called Pavis and this is the Dynamic Age Defense SPF. It is a treatment, a moisturizer, and sunscreen. So it's not only treating your skin with anti-aging benefits, but it also acts as your moisturizer because a lot of us don't want the long drawn out skincare anymore. I'm one of them. I want a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So I'm going to use the most potent ingredients I can use that my skin will tolerate. And uh, you know that I love Isden sunscreen. I love their regular and their tinted because it does not irritate my skin. But you have to reapply it every couple of hours and that's not possible. I don't care what anybody says. It is not possible to reapply your sunscreen if you wear makeup unless you're doing it with powder. And then we're all gonna look like a bunch of powder puffs. But anyway, this one here, it's a 100% true mineral sunscreen with diamond core shield technology photo aging defense cocktail. It is transparent on all skin tones, light all the way to the darkest. It is transparent and it acts as your moisturizer if you're not one that wants to buy two products, a sunscreen and a moisturizer. And sometimes they don't play well together. They have pilling and so on. This one here does not, it was, de it was developed by dermatologist and oncologist, and it has a lot of good ingredients in it, but uh, this is the box, and it comes in the bottle like this. Now, Frisco Beauty has a fabulous deal going on right now. If you buy one of these and a refill, you get one free. That's a $110 value. And it's only while size supplies last, so it's for a short time. But if you buy this, the refill, you get one free. So jump on it, but I'm gonna share with you right now. Now, there's one pump. You don't need more than two of this. And I just massage it onto my fingertips and I press it. It can go right over your procedures, no problem. Even if you have in office, and then you just spread it on your face, you can go over your eye, under your eyes. Of course, we're gonna go all the way over the neck. But look at that, not a bit of white, and it leaves a beautiful glow, and it plays very well with makeup, with primers, of course, I give it 15 minutes now to soak in. Now, I'm not going to be wearing any makeup today because when I do treatments like this, I don't put makeup on my face afterwards, but you do need a sunscreen. Uh, a lot of the products we use will make us sun sensitive. So um, sunscreen is very important. And I have to tell you, I am so impressed. Look at my skin. You cannot see this on there. It is absolutely beautiful. It is so hydrating and moisturizing. It is perfection, my friends. And this is another part of the line. They have their own cleanser because you know how we have to do double cleanse. Well, with this, you don't. It removes all sunscreen and your makeup. And I just wanted to save the box because it's so gosh darn pretty. But it's very concentrated. A little is needed. Comes in a pump. So it looks pretty on the uh, counter. And it's just... Beautiful. I put it on, massage it on, and when you wet it, it foams up nicely, but it takes off all makeup and it breaks down all the sunscreen. And the beautiful part about this is if you are just existing, like I do not have to reapply this now. It is on for the day and I do not need to reapply. Protection is there. The only time you need to reapply is if you are going swimming. That is it or if you are sweating heavily because you have some manual labor job, whatever, 
but I do not have to reapply. I love that. And they have a lip product because I did the lip treatment. I'm going to apply this. Now it, it has a kind of a beigey brown color, but it kind of looks nice on. Um, it's comfortable on the lips. And it's protecting my lips. And it's not sticky. It gives none of that snapping. You know that I hate that snapping. I hate it. And last but not least, I wanted to share two body serums with you. This one is from Epicutus. I talked about this line in June of last year. I started using their skincare. And it's a really, really nice product. Now, I have had this product for over a month and a half. And I use it every single day. And this is a skin re-engineered, and this is a lipid body treatment. So it's really helping to firm and tighten the skin. Now I have been using it all on my arms and I use it on my legs and I use it on my belly because unfortunately my belly has some loose skin because I was a little on the chunky side before. So there's some loose skin and not that this is going to tighten the skin, but it will help the appearance and Epicutus is a very, very clean line. And now this is expensive, but I've had it. I want to say I've had it almost a month and a half to two months. I use it every day. This I use, I go like this and I just massage it onto my arms. This does my whole arm and I'm wearing this now under silk it's not transferring it's not staining my silk pajamas and i just put it on and it really has it has a nice glow to it it's not greasy and it's in there just taking care of my beautiful 64 year old skin so i did want to share that i am now using the body um, treatment for this. Now, if this is out of your price range though, Bay Harbor Beauty does have the Nourishing Body Serum, which I talked about at Christmas. Again, it's a white cream and you just massage it on all the parts that you would want it on. So we have one from Epicutus that is absolutely fabulous. And we have a more budget-friendly, clean from Bay Harbor Beauty, the Nourishing Body Serum. There's also a cream. So that so is it for today's video. I just really wanted to come and chit chat with you while I do my, I have to tell you, I already feel better just doing that little bit. Maybe it's really, I feel better because I'm spending time with all of you. Because you're all my friends. Did you know that? I call you my friends all the time. It's irritating to some, but you are my friends. You're all the friends that I don't know, but I do know. Does that make sense? Anyway, uh, that is today's video. Everything that I did and used will be listed in links below for you. I really wanted just to focus on having conversation with you, but there were for a few things that I wanted to share with you. And the Pavis, because of the gift uh, with purchase, I really wanted to share that with you today because it will only be while supplies last. And this is a fabulous mineral sunscreen that you do not need to reply all day long. And it has the anti-aging benefits, the moisturizing benefits, and also the sunscreen broad spectrum protection. All right, my friends. So anything that you want to know will be below the video. And I am so happy to see all of you again. And I will be back very soon, hopefully regularly. And remember, if you are having any type of vertigo symptoms and you are heading into menopause or perhaps perimenopause, take a Dramamine, the less drowsy. I have been living on Dramamine, the less drowsy. Uh, there is a medication you could take anti-vert. Uh, I've been to a neurologist, everything for my uh, vertigo, and there's nothing they can do for me either. I mean, we've tried everything and nothing has worked. Some people just get dealt what they get dealt and you deal with it, my friends. We just learn to deal with it. And um, But I wanted you all to know that I do feel that my vertigo has changed with menopause. All right, so if you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right next to it. It's the bell. It will notify you of all the videos that I'm putting up. Until the next time, my friends, go out in the world, be lovable, and remember, it is okay to love our age. I love you all, my friends. Bisous.